Hi, I'm Neil of Team Teacher, teaching, living and raising a family in China. In this video, we're looking at 58.com. Let's check it out. 58.com is China's equivalent, basically, of Craigslist. It's a classified site uh, and it's all in Chinese. First off, you're going to have to choose your city or province. It is all in Chinese. Uh, so you need to know your characters. I'm going for Shenzhen. And this is the classified page. Um, it's basically everything that you would get with classified uh, jobs, uh, apartment rentals, secondhand sales, that sort of thing. It is all in Chinese. Uh, so you're going to need to know a little bit of Chinese. Um, one thing that you can do is if you look at the titles, if you hover the actual cursor over in the bottom left corner where it's got the address, you can actually see it does have some English in the actual address. So this says Shenzhen 58 house. So that's for going to be for rentals. Uh, the next header along uh, says 58.com slash sales. So those will be for sales. Uh, the next one along, the third one across, is going to be for jobs. Uh, so you can navigate it all in Chinese uh, and using sort of like the um, bottom left hand corner. But again, some are going to be in pinyin. So if you're not good with Chinese, uh, what I suggest uh, and what I tend to do is I tend to use Google Chrome. And with Google Chrome, it, I've actually got an auto translate feature on there. So it will translate the best that Google can do uh, from Chinese characters to English. Uh, and then you're going to have to navigate it through there. So there's actually three parts that I want to generally look at. I want to look at uh, the classifieds for renting, for secondhand uh, sales and for jobs. Now, let's first go into the renting renting an apartment or renting a room first let's look at renting so you can rent an apartment you can rent a, a room uh, you can do it long term you can do it short term there's lots of different options and it's just like uh, renting uh, through a classified in every uh, place that you go uh, you can choose by district uh, amount price range you can choose if it's rooms, whole rental, room rental, whatever. And they'll, they'll always have pictures and more details. So let's have a look at this one here. So this one's just renting a room and it will give you all the sort of details. Um, but remember it is being translated. So some might be a bit uh, off with the translation. So you have to kind of uh, use a few of your detective and common sense skills uh, to kind of work it out. Um, one thing that I want you to remember as well is here uh, there will be uh, options to choose between renting uh, between a uh, personal uh, landlord or between an agent. Uh, now one of the issues with this is classified, anyone can put theirs up there. You'll often get agents posing as a personal listing and they'll put up uh, pictures and you think, wow, this place is actually really nice looking. Uh, well, they'll often I hear of a uh, bait and switch. So they'll, they'll say, oh, that place is not available, but this place looks similar. And they'll take you around to a few different places um, and kind of, you know, try and work you as an agent. Um, so it can be difficult, uh, but it's uh, a way that you can actually often talk with the actual direct landlord. Uh, what you do from here is you would need to create an account because you can actually call them or send them a message. Uh, normally I've created an account with my WeChat login and then you can just send them a message. Don't expect them to speak English. Uh, make sure you can, uh, you've got a translator if you need to call them, uh, a Chinese friend or someone that's good with the Chinese. Um, but remember, WeChat does have a, quite a decent translation in there. And often, you know, people feel uh, quite favorable towards uh, foreigners uh, as they, we've got a general good reputation for uh, being clean. 
So that's renting. Now let's have a look at some of the other options. So we've got secondhand market here as well. So this one, you can get secondhand goods, uh, lots of electronics, uh, lots of uh, different furniture, uh, a whole bunch of stuff. And again, one of the, the issues with this is you are often dealing with people that treat this as their store. So they'll sell you a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, you're not actually buying something that they've personally used. Uh, it's just like a, another business for them, really. Um, so they'll, you know, maybe say that they don't have this uh, particular thing available now, but they've got something similar, yada, yada. And you just have to wade through uh, a lot of the things to actually find something that you really want. And you have to remember as well, there's going to be a lot of fake products on here. So you have to really do your due diligence, especially if you're going with electronics because people like to pass things off uh, that, that's the real thing um, when they it's obviously fake uh, but it's pretty decent fakes so you have to be really careful and last up uh, we can look at jobs now with the jobs page uh, you've got a whole bunch of different jobs um, Generally, I've only ever looked on here for like a work for teaching, um, but there's definitely not that much. And the teachers that they do want are going to be Chinese teachers, as generally the Chinese people that post the ads on here don't exactly um, think that there's going to be many foreigners uh, on here um, looking for jobs. Uh, but you might come across some tutoring or something like that, uh, but I expect a lot of this to be all for Chinese people. Uh, you, I mean, you can apply for uh, cleaning or um, I don't know, a bar work or something like that. Just uh, don't expect a very high wage and I expect a, quite a confused Chinese person asking, well, why aren't you doing uh, something that's more foreigner related? And there we go. So there's a whole bunch of options. Um, you can look at business stuff. Um, there's also options for buying cars uh, and other vehicles. Generally, I would say with the cars, uh, I wouldn't think about purchasing them unless you've got a Chinese spouse because there's a, a whole uh, thing around actually uh, getting a license plate number because you can buy a car but getting a license plate number uh, is a bit of a lottery, quite literally sometimes. So there you go. Um, remember, whatever you're going to use on here, uh, you can actually uh, sign in um, and then you can switch between the website and the actual app uh, quite easily. Well, if you enjoyed that video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Bye bye.